So, presentation. Or sure Ken. Well, thank you everybody for being here and thanks for the opportunity. We, we love to share about our school and the opportunities that we have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my screen, hopefully. Are you able to see that? Yes, we can. All right. So I'm gonna, this, this is a little bit of a new presentation for me because this is a, a new electronic brochure, but um, I know the folks at GE have copies of this in, in PDF form and, and you can find it on our website as well so that you can take a look at what I'm gonna talk about. I'm not gonna read it to you. I'm just gonna kind of talk through some highlights and then show you some other things. So um, I'm at Foxcroft Academy and we're located in the beautiful state of Maine, the northeasternmost state in the United States. And we're pretty proud of our state. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. I've gotta remove the video of everybody here so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. So it's easier to reach for the stars from here. Um, with this, this is a beautiful state and I'm always reminded how beautiful it is by our visitors from around the world. Um, one of my favorite stories is two years ago, I, I went to the airport and picked up a new student, Leo. And Leo is actually from Ho Chi Minh. City and on the way home, we happened to come home. It was nighttime, and as we were driving, driving there, he he got really quiet. And I said, "Leo, why why are you so quiet?" And uh, he looked outside, and he said, "I've never seen so many stars." And that's what's beautiful about the state of Maine. We don't we don't have the interference with being able to see the nighttime skies that comes from a lot of the, the more populated areas. So it's quite beautiful. Um, but here in, in our town of Dover Foxtroff, we do have world-class resources, an incredibly supportive facility, uh, faculty, and lots of opportunities for students to actually reach for those stars. So we are recognized for having the clearest skies. Um, we're the safest state in the United States. And because of that, uh, we feel it's a really great place for young people to develop into young adults and to access an education that is um, just beyond compare um, to, to many others. So we are built on a, a tradition. We've, we've been here since 1823. In fact, Foxcroft Academy was the first school to be chartered after the state of Maine became a state in 1820. So our mission and vision is really much around opportunities for kids, different pathways, because everybody has a different way of getting to their goals in life. And one of the things that we want to do is make sure that our students, when they graduate from the Foxcroft Academy, they have a global perspective. And the way we do that is by inviting students from around the world to join us and become part of our school family. We have 425 students here at Foxcroft Academy, and 100 of those are international and domestic boarding students. And although there are a few domestic boarding students, uh, 90, 95% are international students. Uh, this year, we have students from 23 different countries that have joined us at Foxcroft Academy, and we have 325 American Day students. So it's a great opportunity for the student who wants to understand the American culture, wants to uh, participate in the American curriculum, um, but they also want to be able to see the world through the perspectives and lenses of people from all around the world. So we are a college preparatory school, but um, we also have many other pathways as well. So we have AP courses, advanced placement courses. We also have the International Baccalaureate Program for those students who want to um, study in a very rigorous program, their 11th and 12th grade, their last two years. Um, at the end of that, they can sit and take the IB diploma exam. And passing that, they get both an IB diploma and the Foxcroft Academy diploma. Um, both, both great keys to open the doors of universities and colleges here in the United States. And the IB works around the world. <clears throat> but, um, you know, forward always is, is one of our mottos, and, and we think it's important that kids be well-rounded and, and supported. So not only do we have AP, IB, honors courses to pick from, we also have a really strong arts and music program, um, coding, industrial technologies. If students want to learn how to weld, how to do small engine repair, uh, woodworking, those are things that we offer as well, because 
And everybody has different interests and skills, and we like to help develop those for all of our students. So we're a small school, but we have lots of opportunities. So small school, large school opportunities. Um, our athletics programs are strong, and, and if, if you enjoy that, let's say that you are a tennis player and you enjoy being at a high competitive level, we, we have a tennis team that is for you. If you're somebody that's just interested in trying it, you've never tried the sport before, uh, we have levels of the sport that you can be part of. Lots of clubs and organizations for students, everything from robotics to fishing club. Um, we, we do civic organizations where students can learn to hone their voices as leaders within our community. Um, you know, all kinds of different options for students to pick from. And then because we're an outdoor heritage state, lots of different recreational activities on the weekends, um, Fridays and Saturdays, and a lot of the Sundays, we provide activities for our, our boarding students to keep you busy. What we've learned is that students that are busy um, are happier and stay out of trouble. Um, so we, we keep them just as busy as we can. And again, we have a great visual and performing arts. If you're a musician or a singer, a dancer or an actor or actress, uh, we have programs that will engage you there as well. So uh, when people ask why, why do we want to come to Foxcroft Academy, I will tell you that we've been around for almost 200 years. We're actually starting to celebrate our 200 year birthday. Um, we have all kinds of different choices, over 150 courses, AP, IB, um, our ESL programs. We do have three different levels of English for um, second language students. And those are included in the tuition uh, with beautiful main location. Our facilities are top notch, everything from a um, brand new ice arena to we'll be opening up a uh, indoor field house to start next school year. So students will be able to participate in outdoor activities indoors all year round. Um, tailored academics, we help the student find a pathway forward that works for them. Um, we have career and college readiness planners. Our guidance counselors help students with everything from um, selecting what it is they wanna study moving forward to where they wanna study. And we look at things such as um, where the best program is for that student, location where they go to school, and to be quite honest, what the cost of that education is too, because that's important consideration for everybody. Um, we're a technology forward school. We have Apple distinguished um, recognition for the last five years running. Um, again, we're an IB program school, and then we have lots of opportunities for students to have one-on-one -on -one and small group interactions. Our class size, average class size is 13 or 14 um, to one. So I'm just gonna quickly switch, switch to uh, another. I'm gonna pull something else up for you to look at. I'm gonna slide through this really quick. Are you still able to see it? Yes, sure. Okay. So this is a, a aerial view of our campus. These are the two dorms back here where our boarding students live. And over to the right is our academic building. The field house is actually right here. Um, and it's not in this picture because it's just being completed as we speak. I believe today they're putting the turf in. So this is where we're located. We're north of Boston, about four hours by car, unless I'm driving and then we can make it in uh, three and a half. So it's a, it's a traditional American high school experience, but we think we do it a little bit better because of our, our many different countries and perspectives that become part of our family. We are recognized for our science, technology, engineering, mathematics courses. Um, you know, we were a top 2,500 school here in the United States. Um, that was last year. We do have four foreign languages, French, Spanish, German, and Latin. We do love our arts program. Um, our students do a lot of amazing things. It's always amazing to me how somebody can, can perform like that. Um, 
this last year and the year before, because of the pandemic, things had to change a little bit. So we got a whole section of kettle drums and our students learned how to play those. Um, we just are always adapting to the world around us. Just some of the artwork that comes out of our full art studio. Students can do everything from learn how to paint and drawing to working with clay to metal sculpting, rock band. Um, we do musicals each year. This is Shrek the musical. Um, then we'll take students on college tours as well, just so that they can see what colleges have to offer here in the United States. This is our ice arena. Just some of the many clubs that people can be, you know, I remember I said it, we have everything from robotics to fishing, chess club, um, art clubs, outdoor clubs. So these are our dorms. They're modern, they're, they're kept up to date. We live there with the students um, in each dorm. There are, for every 10 students, there is a, a dorm family that lives there as well. It's a traditional two people per room. Um, we pair our students with somebody that doesn't speak the same first language because we want to have English be the language that they're working on the most. Some of our common spaces. And again, like I said, Friday, Saturdays and Sundays, we spend doing activities with our students, everything from skiing to whitewater rafting, bowling, escape rooms, shopping, movies, cultural events. Oops. We really, really appreciate those students that 